Well, another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. In this episode, my control pack came in from Ford. I'm gonna install the accelerator pedal for the Coyotes. You can see it's a throttle by wire, uh, which is actually very nice. You don't have throttle uh, cable and all that kind of stuff. You just got a uh, little plug, as you can see there, that just plugs right into the uh, control pack. So it uh, works great. I have my Roadster, the, the Cobra, it worked awesome. I had no issues with it at all. And you can also tune these things. You can actually get rid of, uh, you know, how quickly they, um, well, the sensitivity, uh, you can have your tuner do that, uh, desensitize and make them even more. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do. So follow along. I think we have to cut off one of these ears. And uh, it's been a while since I've done this. So we'll kind of see how this goes. And uh, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. Okay, so one of the things I am going to do, which I did on my Roadster, I think I ended up cutting this pedal in half, if I remember right. It's been a while. And then I used this... Uh, Really nice pedal, I think from Forte. Um, and that's, I got rid of this big of other thing, went this, give me a little more pedal room, and it kind of got mounted up higher. I just got to try to remember how I did it. As I said, that was a couple of years ago, uh, 2018, I think, so two, three years ago. But uh, we'll play around with this, see if we can figure out uh, how we did it. I said, first step is to cut this ear off flush. So uh, a few different ways. Some people use a hacksaw, which we could try that. I don't know how well hacksaws to cut through this crap. I think the last time I just used a high speed. Actually, that cuts pretty dang nice. All right, well, that was easy enough, huh? Whack that down, we can hit that with a grinder and clean that off. Oh, you need a part. It actually looks pretty darn good. This could be a lot easier than the, uh, the Cobra. Heck, this could be a lot easier than the Cobra. Yeah, the pedal definitely sits down a little bit. As I said, I may cut this. I may cut this, lift the pedal up until I get a seat in and really sit behind the wheel. I don't know, but you can see this whole thing is kind of molded in. I mean, the pedal cover comes off and I could flip it, I guess. I flipped the pedal. Uh, you take off the torque screw here, flip the pedal over. So it gets you about oh, an inch and a half to almost two inches of ground clearance right there. Keeps the curve of the pedal. Not bad. We could hit that. And then if I ground could cut the pedal across here and shorten this. But as I said, I think I'm gonna stick this thing. I just gotta try to remember how, I, I think I drilled all the way through and just put that right on top of that. So, yeah. But I gotta figure out what I gotta do with these. I think I've gotta cut those ears, make them flush if I remember right, and then this thing should bolt right up. But I'm not totally positive on that either. So I gotta do a little bit of research before we continue on. I went in, looked at the manual a little bit more, had to pull up some internet stuff. Uh, I'm gonna continue on with this pedal. As I said, I kind of dive into things. Uh, I try to remember what I did back a couple of years ago on the Cobra and uh, try to make do with it here. I should kind of do more research, but I just love getting my hands you know, into things and get going and I figure I could always fix it down the road. So I'm going to, uh, now that I've seen what needs to be done, uh, I gotta whack, I gotta cut these things here flush. Uh, both of these, so I'll push out these uh, inner bushings. We'll drive those out, we'll cut that off, make that flush, and then this thing actually bolts right in, and the pedal does reverse, just like I said, we just gotta cut across this. And then it's pretty much done, and then I can figure out how to adapt uh, this pedal onto there, because I like the look. It just looks much cleaner, it matches what's on there. This looks too modern, I guess. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what we can do here. So I got a punch. I'm gonna make this vise just big enough to support it. And then we're gonna see if we can just drive this thing out. A 
Voila, one done. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it a little long and then I'll hit it up with a sander. Flappy disc. Yeah, and then we'll put a whole, we'll, we'll go outside because it's gonna make a mess and we'll, uh, we'll hit it with a flappy disc, a little flapper wheel, sanding disc. Grind this back of that pedal down too. So we may grind that down too. So we're gonna, I'm gonna mark this here. And then we'll pull that thing back off. Okay, and I guess I can cut that off since we're since we're rolling here with this hacksaw, and then we'll clean everything up with the flapper disc. Hopefully this isn't too boring. Um, I, I don't know what I should videotape, what I shouldn't. But... There we go. And I think it'll fit a little bit, a little bit flusher angle too if I do that. So I'm actually going to grind a little bit off into here too, because that sticks out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to get the. Uh, Grinder out. Oh, it's already got a flapper disc on it. I guess I can put that away. Earplugs. Gotta have earplugs. So now I'm gonna take this pedal. I'm gonna go to grind this part down so it fits more flush, more natural, I think. But I said I'm probably not going to use this thing. But okay, so we cut the pedal off here. I ground down this. So now instead of this thing kind of sitting up like that, now it's got a much better angle. It should bolt in. Oh man, it should bolt in a much nicer. Voila. Okay, so now we'll go back to the car. I'm gonna try to, uh... So now this thing is gonna bolt right up there and there. Just like that. That looks pretty damn nice. So I thought about tapping with quarter 20, but the hole's already too big, so too sloppy. So I'm wondering if I went 5 sixteenths, it would just be nice not to have to... There's enough room in here. Or if I tap that thing at 5 sixteenths, boy, that would make it nice, wouldn't it? I have now tapped both holes to 5 sixteenths 24. I don't know if you could see that. Um, this way, getting that pedal on and off should be very easy. Uh, hold it up underneath there, drive a 5 16 24 bolt in, done. Uh, as I said, trying to get a nut behind that, that limited space. This way, if I have to pull this thing off down the road, let's say the cable goes bad, uh, let's say that the pedal goes bad, or I want to change it out, it's one plug, two bolts, done. I'm not reaching back in there. I could put an extension on a, uh, a bolt or a ratchet and then just pull this thing right off makes it pretty simple and easy. And I'm not reaching back in there trying to kill myself, trying to get a nut off the back. Uh, being 24 fine thread, there should be plenty of threads. That pedal uh, plate's pretty thick, so it should be plenty. But we'll see once I get it bolted up. I gotta find some 5 16 24 bolts. That's the next question. So I may have to go to the hardware store for that one. I found a couple of 5 16 24 pitch. Like, if you look up into here, See the pedal hits right there. So I think I'm gonna have to sand that down because you don't get much of a throw. See that? 
That cannot be. So I, I think I've got to grind this down. I think I have to mark that because that's not going to fly, especially if you get a, you know, you got to pump your brakes or if they go to the floor, you can't even go to the floor. So I think I've got to mark that, pull this thing back out and trim that tab. Other than that, I think the pedal assembly looks pretty good. As I said, I'll probably change out that throttle pedal for something else, but for right now, I think it looks good. So I trim back the ear. Um, as you can see now, the brake pedal all the way to the floor. Just clears. I mean, it is tight, but that's all it takes. So um, I don't know, what do you think? So I think I'll probably throw the other pedal on eventually once I get the seat in and kind of figure out where my position goes. But uh, yeah, the pedal's in, now it's just one plug and it's ready to roll. So we've got ourselves a whole pedal assembly. Uh, it's definitely tight up against the firewall. Um, once you get the carpet in there, I don't know where exactly that thing's gonna sit till I get it. Well, actually, you know what? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks like much better. I didn't realize this panel was kind of pushed out a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think that's perfect. I can actually rotate the pedal to straighten it out just a hair, but uh, I think now we've got our, uh, Throttle pedal in there. Well, that's another one. So hopefully you got a hot idea how to install the Coyote Gen 3 throttle pedal into the Gen 3 Type 65. Uh, thanks again for watching. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe.